And five turnovers. What stands uh, out about their defense to you? Yeah, I mean, I think they rally to the ball. You know, that's definitely something that always uh, pops up on defenses, you know, when they're good. Um, you know, and they move around well. You know, things like that, very active. So, you know, it's definitely a team that you got to match their physicality and their movement. Um, and they got some good athletes out there, obviously. So, you know, you just got to attest for all that. Obviously, the team that you know, beat you guys last year. So when you get that opportunity to play them again, does that bring a little extra? You know, they, they had the safety and the dance. I don't know if that thing stuck with you guys or what, but what's the feeling like playing them this week? Yeah, I mean, that stuff definitely sticks with you. But at the same time, you know, it's a new season, a new team. Um, but it's a big conference game. And so, you know, that's, you know, our mindset this week. And it's, you know, 1-0. You know, we're focused on Wyoming. And, you know, that's all we're focused on. It's important to see, you know, say beating a San Diego State is, but you know, it's a mountain division team, and th those are the ones that are paramount for you mm -hmm. guys, and that's something that's ev evaded you guys the last couple of seasons, you know. So when you, we mentioned how big it is, I mean, certainly that, that adds a little more to it. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's on our side of the conference, and so, you know, it adds to just the magnitude of the importance of the game. It's, uh, it's been about a month since you guys last played a game on the blue. I don't know if it mm -hmm. seems like it's been that long. It's gone by fast, yeah. but. Um, is it good to be back home? And, and how much more confidence do you guys have now uh, as opposed to maybe the last time you left it? Yeah, you know, I think it's definitely some of that, you know, having some of that mojo as a team, you know, after, you know, a couple good wins. Um, but, you know, it's just good to be back at home with the fans. You know, we obviously see an advantage, you know, at our own place, uh, you know, with our fans and everything. Um, but, you know, good to be home. And But at the same time, you know, got to come ready to play, obviously, every week. How nice has it been for you? With, with, you know, we've asked you before, but with the way last year went, just to be so involved, and especially scoring touchdowns and stuff this year. Um, you know, it's nice, obviously, but you know, as the tight ends, we always talk about in our group is we'll do whatever we have to do if that's, you know, just blocking power zone, you know, one week, and that's all we're gonna do. We're fine with that. So you know, whatever we can do to contribute. On that, on that blocking aspect, when, now when you kind of mail to look at the tape and stuff like that, what what stand out about about what Alexander did last week? Yeah, I mean, I think he just uh, ran downhill. You know, and physical. You know, those are really the two things that stood out. How big is it to last couple of games to get him going, and what does it yeah. do for this offense when the running game is going? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it definitely you know opens up some other areas. Uh, we hope, and you know, I think it's just something that you know we really uh, push here is you know having a downhill run game and a successful run game. So getting him going, you know, has been good. You know, last year because you, you were limited, you, you did a lot of like coaching on the sidelines and stuff, yeah. and passing your knowledge on. Does it feel good to be kind of taking advantage of your knowledge again, though, on the football field, and you, know, you personally yeah. taking advantage of it? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, it's nice to actually, you know, put what you know to use. But I mean, at the same time, it's just nice, you know, being out there, you know, with your teammates and everything, um, you know, making plays, you know, blocks, whatever it is, out there with the tight ends and the whole offense. So, you know, that aspect of it is probably more important um, to me than you know maybe some of the other stuff. But yeah, it's been nice. You said that you and Brett kind of talked about that play that you scored on. I was just kind of yeah. curious how that kind of came up throughout the week, and then I mean, as yeah. the play is developing, do you know if this is going to happen? Yeah. Well, you know, I think you know, like with most plays, you kind of play out a few different scenarios, and it was just happened to be one that we talked about. You know, you just like stay on the move if you know they cover it from the get go, and so that's what kind of happened. And you know, we kind of. Once the play was playing out, you know, you kind of see it all come together and remember some of those talking points. And so, you know, then it's just time to make a play. Uh, Zach said that you guys talked through it, but maybe you didn't anticipate that you'd have to take the hit that you did. So, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a, you know, definitely a tight end. And I mean, any receiver, you got to, you know, be ready to, you know, take one in the chin a couple times. So, you know, just hang on to the ball. What's the biggest thing you remember stands out about last year's game and learning? Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I think we just didn't, you know, maybe have the right mindset going into the game, um, you know, and obviously some of the turnovers and things like that. But, you know, I think it's just every week, you know, come, I mean, that's how college football is nowadays. Anyone can win any week. So you got to come ready to play and, you know, ready to work every week, too. You know, I think the preparation is a huge aspect into that. Not that we haven't done that in the past, but, you know, I think our preparation, our mindset throughout the week is just as important as what it is on game day. How have you kind of seen the offense maybe evolve from maybe the last two years to this year? And you guys are huddling more, and yeah. yesterday Zach said that you know they wanted to do that so you guys might be able to focus on the details and mm -hmm. stuff. But based on the guy that's in the offense, how have you kind of seen it evolve? Yeah, I mean, every year it's kind of a little different, and this is kind of around the time of the year when you kind of start to figure that stuff out of like what's working, what's kind of your, you know, your thing. And so, you know, I think it's just. That huddle aspect does allow us to do a few more things, but at the same time, you know, we still want to kind of have that pace to us, you know, of being in the urgency, 
you know, still getting up on the ball, you know, with the shifts and motions, we've got to do everything quickly, you know, with the clock. So you know, I think that's all things that play into it.